Do you plan out your future? I do. So I'm I'm very goal. So I, I have that accountability mirror, but I also plan out all my small, big time, you know, medium goals, all these things I have to do in life. I'm I'm a big planner. I'm a big planner. So, you know, right now I'm going back to scratch. So I'm trying to be a wildland firefighter. You know, I did that for a couple of seasons. You gonna do that now? Yeah, so I did it for I did it for two not not full season, but 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 two half seasons. So this year was my second year doing it. I had to I had to um stop about uh, two months before it ended because of this book to start promoting the book and start finishing the book up. But I've been doing that for two. That's some fucking work, man. Those fucking guys get after What made you decide it. to do that? The work, you know, like when your hands stop becoming really calloused, it's time to get back to work. You know, like I retired from the military. I did 21 years in the military. Um, the military was my life. Loved everything about it, the discipline of it. Um, there's some about going back in the, in, in the money you make is nil. It's not about the money at all. It's just about the hard work. I've always been looking for those people. Like those guys, like you're out there digging a three mile fire line, literally a three mile fire line. You're cutting down these fucking huge ass trees to dig this fire line. And the fire line is like 20 to 18 inches for, for three miles. And you got like fucking 12 people digging this shit. And I'm out there thinking, man, this is some of the hardest fucking work I've done in my life. And it's that challenge that you can't find sometimes by going to the gym or by running, you know, a hundred mile race. It's that it's that new challenge of like, hey, and you get done digging. All right. You work 17 hours, 16, 17 hours. You get your fucking little fucking sleeping mat out. Shack down. Boom. Right there on the floor. Right there on the ground. Get up. Dig some more. You know, you'd be out there two, three weeks sometimes, man, just doing that shit. And there's great satisfaction in the kind of work that you do out there. No one's watching. No one gives a fuck. It's hard, dangerous fucking work. And, you know, you're doing it to help shit out, man. You know? How did you get drawn into that? So I got drawn into it because I was always looking for the next challenge. And I was like, okay, hey, what is there after the military? What, is the, what, like, what, what the fuck is there, man? I mean, I'm, I'm 43. Um, I'm getting back in shape, you know. I'm fucking getting these health issues for taking care of that I had. And I started, once again, Google is amazing shit. Hardcore fucking jobs, you know, pretty much. You know, hard, hard ass fucking, you know, that's how I found the horse, you know, like the first race, you know, hardest races in the world. So basically, I started finding this wildland firefight. Like, what the fuck is wildland firefight? Started Googling that. Started Googling smoke jumpers. You know, I'm like, what the fuck do these guys do? What? They jump out of planes and attack small fires I'm like that's the shit so i'm like okay okay we can put down a list and okay hot shots what's a hot shot do they go out with you know big fires and they dig fire line they, i'm like fuck what, what, what's dig fire and, and i saw a video of it I'm like that shit looks like it sucks it's hot you know there's you know i mean you're out there on your own i mean you know there's, you're out there on your own man just digging fire lines so that's kind of how i found it i'm always looking for the next challenge i'm i'm never satisfied with oh I did that. Like, you know, I became a SEAL. I was an Air Force guy. I became a SEAL. I went to Ranger School. I tried out for Delta Force twice. You know, like, I'm, I'm always looking for what is next, looking for those uncommon men and women, uncommon people, because I'm, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow. And a lot of times, you know, you don't want to be the only person that's making yourself grow. You're looking for those Cameron Haynes, those Joe Rogan, those people who are, like, just different. People who understand what the fuck you're saying, because a lot of things I have to say, I can't say them all. I can't say them all. You may not understand them. So I had to really find a way to communicate with people so they don't think, oh, my God, like, what? What did you just say? So these Cameron Haynes, these Joe Rogan, these people get it. So I go in those little, those little nucleus spots, get, get a little more strength, get a little more knowledge, get a little more tools, take those tools with me, put them in my tool shed, and I go off down, you know, down the road on a new journey. So that's what I do. Well, the proof is in the pudding if you're really doing woodland firefighting, because there's no glory in that. No, sir. No, there's no <laughs> fame. There's no there's no one taking pictures no, of you. No, and that paycheck is small, son. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm fucking make you want to. Should I eat today? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's there's nothing involved in that, man. And they work their ass off. So, but you're just doing it as a challenge. That's it. Do That's they it. freak out when you're there? You know what? I, I think they're wondering why is a 43-year-old retired man, you know, all the stuff you've done, why are you out here? 
Yeah. And I explain it to them. I'm out here. I'm out here to, you know, to, to learn from you all to grow and also to never forget where I came from. You know, that's where it starts. It's that mentality of I'm going to pick up that fucking Pulaski and I'm going to dig this fucking fire line for three damn miles. That's that mentality. I never want to lose. I never want to get so nice where it. Oh, yeah, I did it, man. I did it. I did it. I'm good. That mentality of I'm willing to pick up that shovel and I'm willing to dig a three mile line. It's the, there's some about that mentality that I'm I'm ready to go to work at any time, and that's what keeps me. Those are the sparks. Like you know, I look at motivation as just a spark. It's like it's like kindling. You know how how a big fire starts. It starts with a little smoke. It starts with a little cigarette being thrown in the woods. Next thing you know, all of California's fucking burn up. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Is I find these little sparks, and once that little thing takes off, that's a that's a one hour fuel. Then you got a ten hour fuel. Then you can move that thing to a ten thousand hour fuel. These big logs and big trees that burn for days, and that's where you want to bring that motivation. That's where you want to bring that drive. So if you have no kindling. The kindling is me going out with these young guys saying, all right, motherfucker, you're 43. It's a 20-year-old. Keep up with them. That kindling now, when I leave those young guys, it has now become that 10-hour fuel. And now that 10,000-hour fuel that I use throughout my whole life. I use that throughout my whole life. Man, hey, this summer at 43, you went out there and you did that, man. So, you know, you're not giving up yet. You're not done yet. Not today. You're not done today. That's a crazy choice to make, though. Woodland firefighter is a very interesting choice. It is. It is. It's a nasty job, man. Because, again, that's uh, that's proof of concept. Like, you're really just doing j- just for the struggle. That's it. 